everyone, how are you? Uh, my name is Jennifer Romas and I am the producer, choreographer, and performer in Sexy the Show at the fabulous Westgate Las Vegas. And I am honored to be your host today on The Socially Distant Show. Um, before we go on, I've got some uh, two great uh, entertainers, personal friends, and performers uh, that I would like to introduce to you for tonight's episode. Uh, but first and foremost, um, I just want to say that I think this is an amazing platform for um, performers and entertainers uh, within the business to um, maybe let people know a little bit about them if we did not before. So thank you, Socially Distant uh, Show, for, for doing this for our community. Um, I also want to say and send the message out that dance, singing, juggling, magic, music, whatever your talent and your passion is, is never canceled. So don't ever forget that. Keep what you're doing behind the scenes. Keep your chops up. We will be back performing for audiences around the world very soon one day. Love to you all, okay? Um, with that being said, tonight's episode, um, we are featuring, um, like I said, very, very close friends of mine, uh, Murray the Magician, who headlines at the Tropicana Hotel, um, also at the Luxor, uh, as well as Danny Elizabeth, who is a showgirl and the host um, of Crazy Girls. So ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, my friends, and soon to be yours, Danny and Murray. <laughs> Let's go. guys um, so a few questions uh, for the audiences listening today um, if anyone does not know who you guys are um, can you please tell us a little bit about yourself maybe how you met how you got started in your career your career um, also exactly where you are performing and um, special request um, my little pooper I can see him back there sleeping <laughs> wants to meet your little poopers <laughs> okay <laughs> Hey everybody, I am Murray the Magician, or as you know me as Murray Sawchuck. I'm Danny Elizabeth. And so I have a show at the Tropicana Hotel and Casino five days a week. 
uh, as a magician, because that's what I do for a living. I'm also over at Fantasy as a guest act, a guest comedian, in their show over at the Luxor in their 1030 show. And I host and also dance in the show called Crazy Girls at Planet Hollywood. It's the longest running burlesque show here in America. It started at the Riviera and now we've been at Planet Hollywood for about four and a half, five years. So yeah, now before that you also were in Jubilee, right? I was, yep. I did Jubilee for about four years and, um, and then bumped over to Crazy Girls. So we don't do all sorts of things. Uh, we have our dogs as well. This is Smudge and this is Kalua, and this is Bailey over here. She's the shy one hiding behind me. Uh, and they're all rescues. We support Friends for Life Maine Society. Every year do a charity show. Uh, usually around Christmas where all the money is donated to uh, Friends for Life Maine Society. It's a no-kill shelter, uh, which I support uh, completely. Uh, so I'm all about the rescue dogs. Uh, also, Danny has a rescue cat as well, but he's off catching mice somewhere right now. And his name <laughs> or rats. Is, yeah, that's right, or rats. Yeah, he brought one in the other day to us, which is very nice at the kitchen table. So. <laughs> uh, people always ask how we met. Uh, my show was at Planet Hollywood in the Planet Hollywood Theater, and, and called the Sin City Theater. And then about a year or so after I was there, Crazy Girls moved from the Riviera and then came into that theater. And uh, that's when Danny came over after Jubilee. Mm -hmm. And so we ended up meeting. You want to tell them how we met? Yeah, um, my pr uh, producer of my show, Navarre Alamon, he uh, brought a few of us girls to have dinner before our show. Um, have a little snack and he was like, I want you guys to meet the magic man Murray in our theater. And so we met him there and we just kind of hit it off and we did like a little exchange of, you know, ticket exchange and some of us went to his show and then um, you guys came to our show and then we had a few lunches and then before you know it, it turned into dinner dates and here we are. <laughs> yeah, here we are a couple, uh, about two and a half years in. So and we love it. We get along great, uh, obviously. And we love animals and we love showbiz and uh, we're always, you know, we're both workaholics indirectly. Uh, we love the business. We're very lucky to be working here in Las Vegas. Uh, of course, this time uh, in Vegas, as we all know, uh, the uh, coronavirus is keeping us in the house. So we're doing a lot of these videos for friends and people out there. We're loving it because we both have active TikTok and Facebook and Instagram accounts as well as YouTube accounts. So it's a lot of fun, you know. Um, and like I said, my show is family friendly. Uh, and it likes to place five nights a week Tropicana called Murray the Magician. And then your show is, is more burlesque show, right? Is it 18 it is. and over? So it's, it's 18 and over because um, it is burlesque show. So it's topless. Um, but it's a great time. We usually get uh, females, males, couples, bachelor parties, bachelorette parties. So it's kind of good for everyone as long as you're 18 and up. Um, I know you guys are both... Um social influencers basically and have, have big followings and things like that uh, and uh, where did you get the idea to do this particular performance for us and uh, what motivated you and what gave you the idea and where can we follow you guys on social media so the video that we created for you guys we thought it'd be fun because in our garage we have a, you know a bunch of garage with a cool equipment along with a lot of Christmas decorations and a lot of collectibles and cars and all that we have a trick that's kind of cool where I can cut someone in half. So um, so I thought, what the heck? Let's cut uh, Danny in half, you know? We got a lot of time on our hands. Why not? I mean, isn't everyone doing it? So uh, this is what we created for you guys. I thought you guys might enjoy it and also uh, something you can put in the show. It's kind of a cool illusion. It's something that can be done surrounded. Um, so Danny, uh, everyone always asks how do you do it? Or of course, you know how the secrets are done. So, what is your answer on you know uh, with me cutting you in half in this la in this video? Um, what's your thoughts? How how did I do it? You know, I'm not really sure, but I do know that it was a lot of fun to perform. We weren't on stage; we were in our driveway, but it was nice to perform again. <laughs> the neighbors loved it. We got a great audience. They were six feet apart, uh, but we got a great audience. So, I hope you enjoyed it. Either of you have any uplifting messages that you would like to share with us um, or possibly some ways of coping and, and getting through this for our Las Vegas community? So, you know, uh, people always ask, what do you share with people in this time of need or desperation or upset? Uh, for me, I've always lived my life, um, it's not what happens to you, it's how you deal with it. It's how, because you have that power. So we're all going to have stuff happen to us that are negative, that isn't good. People dying, people leaving us, uh, jobs coming and going, people coming and going, it's life, it's gonna happen, animals coming and going, uh, pets, you know, all that stuff. 
Uh, and it's upsetting, it's depressing. Uh, and we have no control over it a lot of the times. So my answer to that is um, that you have the power, I have the power to create how I'm going to react to that action. And that power, you have 100%. And you can either be upset, angry, positive, uh, or make it, you know, make a real difference. And uh, everyone has that choice. And so for me, when something like this happens, especially when we're in this situation, uh, we, at least I do, I look for the positive. How can I keep myself active? How can I do things around the house? Like today we had a great day. You know, Danny, she has to stay in shape for her show. She loves working out. It's a big part of her. So tell them what you did today. So today we found some household items and I put together a little uh, workout in the backyard and divided it into like three separate separate sections and um, we kind of did different circuit training um, exercises and we used bricks, we used hammers, we used chairs, picnic tables. And what's the name of the workout? The showgirl workout. Of course, the showgirl workout. <laughs> so it's not what happens to you, it's how you deal with it. You know what I mean? Do you have anything to say about that? Um, yeah, I well, I obviously agree. I think uh, when you have nothing to do and nowhere to go and not much money to spend, it's really hard to kind of be creative and figure out how I'm going to spend my time and still feel like I'm doing something productive and I'm not going uh, stir crazy being cooped up in the house all day. So um, one thing that I've realized for myself because yes I do like, I am going to take advantage of having to be at home and, and being able to Netflix and binge watch some TV and rest and do all those things that we never do um, on any ordinary day. Uh, but I also found that like writing a to-do list for me the night before I go to sleep so I know if there's one or two things um, at minimum the next day that I'd like to accomplish and even if it's something simple like cleaning out my closet and reorganizing my clothes um, just to feel accomplished that day so I don't go crazy and, and don't feel like I'm just sitting here wasting time doing nothing. Um, that's really helped me so I'm going to continue to do that because we're only what a week in not even actually and I'm already like okay what else do I have to do yeah <laughs> so <laughs> what so do we need to throw thing. out yeah so it's just an idea of just getting busy and keeping motivated you know there's lots of things to do around now we clean the whole house the house has never been cleaner we bat we bathe the dogs we walk them we always walk the dogs but it's kind of a cool time in the sense we get to spend more time with each other in our home with our you know we're talking to our friends we have time to call everybody and text and chat and you know there's no reason to not get a hold of people it's a great time to call people too in your life that maybe you haven't talked to for a while because you have time now so and, yeah, yeah and of course uh, the social distancing is extremely important hence why the entire world is currently shut down but um, this is the time to reconnect with people and um, you know spend that hour talking on the phone to one of your relatives that you haven't been able to see in a year and you never get a time a chance to catch up with and then I think it's also a great time to be creative and all those projects or those hobbies that you always put at the back burner because there's other things that are more important, especially the money making things in our lives. Now's the time. Spend one hour every day doing that one hobby and after 30 days, that's 30 hours. So you never know what, what new venture that could lead to. And that's about it. Um, I want to say thanks so much for having us on your show. We love chatting to you. And uh, once again, I am Murray. The Magician, and we're back. I will be back at the Tropicana, and... Danny Elizabeth from Crazy Girls. See you guys later. Thanks again for having us. Uh, I personally want to thank Danny and Murray for being amazing today, as always. And um, also, ladies and gentlemen, uh, performers, entertainers, um, if you are a performer and you are interested in being featured on the Socially Distant Show, uh, you can email your submissions to the Socially Distant Show uh, at gmail.com. Um... We hope you made we, we made you smile a little bit tonight, and again, learning something about a performer here that maybe you did not know. Um, also, um, again, there's a GoFundMe page, and there's information on where you can find these links and things like that. Again, I am solely doing this to help out those in need who really need it um, during this time and to bring awareness to this amazing um, thing that Devin is doing. So um, again, ladies and gentlemen, um, entertainers, performers, um, stay strong. We are united. We will rise together. And remember, your passion is never canceled. Love you guys.